Hi everyone, Sandra here from the Chauvin's Nest. Thanks for stopping in today. I've got a summer garden decor for you today. This video is part of a challenge hosted by Kiki DIYs. If you have not seen Kiki's channel, you need to go take a look. She does some really amazing things with her DIYs. I'll have Kiki's channel and the playlist link in the description box. This little piece of artwork was something that I thrifted last year and it's been sitting in my closet waiting for a makeover. It is sort of like a little divider, I don't know what you would call this, but it just stands freely because it has all of the hinges. I'm going to be removing the hinges and saving those for a project down the road because I won't need them today. I started out with a screwdriver but then switched to my cordless drill. Just makes removing those screws a whole lot easier. On two of these pieces of wood, there are two tiny little pieces of wood creating somewhat of a little windowsill or a ledge. So I've just got to pry those off and I'm just going to use my pliers and a screwdriver to pop them off. Since this project is going to be sitting outside, I'm going to be using my Trem Clad Rust Paint in a flat white and just one of my oldest brushes because this is an oil-based paint and I don't like to clean oil-based paints. I usually just ditch the brushes when I'm done. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. I will give everything one coat, both sides and the back. Once the boards were completely dry, I rearranged them in a little bit of a different pattern than what they were originally. I wanted the two larger pieces on the outside and then another larger piece on the inside and then the two squat ones are gonna be in the middle of those. So I'm using my favorite glue, which is the Weld Bond to glue these all together. I did end up using some hot glue as well, just to give that a little bit more of a quick hold so I could continue working on it. Now I'm just gonna use some coarse grit sandpaper to distress the boards just a little bit. I want a bit of that wood poking through and it'll just make it look more rustic and weathered. I'm using a stencil that says bloom where you are planted. This one is a paper stencil and it's a jelly bean soup stencil. Those are available at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. I will have a link to those stencils down in the description box. I'm just going to use some charcoal gray Rust-Oleum chalk paint and a makeup sponge to apply the paint. And as you can see, when I dab into the lid of the paint, I always dab off a little bit of the excess because I don't want it to bleed through. These are really great stencils, but they do tend to pop up. So that's why I'm using a couple of fingers just to press down the letters as I'm adding the paint. My all time favorite part of crafting using stencils or taping off things is revealing what you've created underneath. And I just think it's fantastic to see the results when you use a stencil like this. It turned out perfectly. So since I took the hinges off, these pieces of wood are not going to stand on their own. They're not wide enough. So I found an old piece of pallet wood that I painted white and then I just hot glued the boards on the pallet piece where I wanted them to be. However, they're probably not going to stick just with hot glue. So I'm going to be pre-drilling some holes into the bottom of the pallet right into the boards. And then I'll put a couple of screws in and that will hold everything in place. I'm using one and three quarter inch black wood screws. Wood screws have the angled top so they go right flush into the wood and you don't have to worry about anything sticking out too far. Some other little items that I've had in my stash for a while are these tiny little pots that come three to a pack at the Dollar Tree. I had purchased these for another craft, but they ended up being too small. I had to go get the larger size pots. So these have just been hanging around as well as the boards, just looking for something to get done with. So I've decided to just take my brush that has already have that trem clad paint on it. I'm just gonna do some dry brushing on these pots. I'm usually not one for purchasing large blossoms. I like 
having smaller blossoms that I can do things with, but the color of these were absolutely gorgeous. I did find them at Michael's and I did use some of these for a client project, but these were left over. So I thought this would be perfect to incorporate them into this project. Just a few more details to finish this project. The white palette piece at the bottom wasn't able to be distressed because it's a light colored wood. So I'm just taking a dry brush with some of the Rust-Oleum gray chalk paint and giving it a distressed look. Using my favorite permanent glue, which is the Weld Bond glue, I will have a link to that in my description box. I'm going to glue those three little pots right onto this ledge. I always work in odd numbers, so that's why I have three little pots, but I'm not gonna line them up all together. One is gonna go on the left and two are gonna go on the right. I'd like to give a great big thank you to Kiki for hosting this challenge. It was a lot of fun to create my little garden decor. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and the bell to get notified when I upload new content. If you liked what you saw, stick around for a while. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.